Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Jumpstart. My name is Jason Meyer, and today we're going to be doing some um, head, neck, and shoulder exercises for the first half, and then we'll look at some student work in the second half. So, it's official. We've been censored. We've been censored. So, um, it looks like the program from last night was taken off of YouTube. Sometimes they do things like that mistakenly. We violated their nudity policy or something like that. I think it was a mistake. I don't remember showing any drawings or paintings of nudes, but it's possible. So we'll see. We're going to see if we can get that back up. But in the meantime, it's gone. It's gone. They took it away from us. But never fear, there's more to come. So how's everybody this morning? Miss Janie's here. Oh, my goodness. Aren't you nice? Aren't you nice? Miss Peggy's joining us. Hey, Peggy. Hope you got time to sketch for a few minutes. And Susan. Susan, Susan, Susan on the homestead. All right. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, everybody. So, let me see if I can be technologically savvy enough to... Hmm, maybe? There we go. That's what we want right there. Almost. We're close. We're close. There we go. All right, so you got the picture on the full screen. You have my iPad over here on the side, so you can watch what I'm doing. We're going to set the timer for about 25 minutes. Um, after we do some exercises, we'll look at some of your work. And we got some gestures drawings sit in, if I remember right, by Janny. I'm going to forget who's all got stuff in here this morning. Um, but we got a little bit of everything. And then a s bit of bonus material. It may be after the hour, but uh, there's a little portrait painting of Katie's that we're going to look at at the very end. So kind of a little bonus there. So everybody's set up and ready to go, feeling good, loosened up. <laughs> yeah, maybe those naked little cherubs got us in trouble. I forgot about that. Did I have one of those cherubs up there? Oof, who knows? I know, I know. But uh, I think we'll survive. I think we'll survive. Anyway, let's get on this timer and see what we can do. <clears throat> so if you remember, we're going to start with finding the center of the chin. Let's find the center of the chin. Let's make sure I'm satisfied with this. Uh... Uh, that feels better. And I feel like I'm painting. Why don't I quit painting and start drawing? We'll get some charcoal here. Where did my pencil go? Where did my pencil go? There it is. Okay, so it's not uncommon, you know, get warmed up in the morning, get used to your tools, see what's going see what's happening, what can you do with them. So if I lay, lay my pencil on the side, I can do that. And then as I stand it up more towards its end, it gets thinner. So part of this process is Getting clever and useful, not necessarily clever, just useful with your tools. And can we wrap around? Can we make this more than it is? Again, it's, this is usually how I start. Trying to be just playful, getting in that, getting in that 
place. All right, you guys didn't come here to see me play, I know. So let's get to work. Let's get to work. How about middle of the chin? So going that way. The nose. Are we seeing the top of her head or underneath? Are we seeing the chin underneath the chin? We're seeing, seeing underneath, so that's going to tell us that our eyebrow, our brow ridge is a little bit higher. All right, and probably going up. And then we're going to go towards the pinch. When I say pinch, what am I talking about? Well, you're going to have a pinch between the head and the neck here and more of a stretch did that the opposite didn't i a stretch on that side so that's the pinch i'm talking about so we want to go from the chin towards the pinch around the back of the head that we don't see here because she's tilted up and then where is if this was the middle right and if i dropped a line straight down Where's the pit of the neck? And it's just off to the side. Something like that. Did we get a little too long? Can we end it? Can we end it showing which way her body's facing? A little kicker there. What shoulders high, what shoulders low, what shoulders in front. Wait, did I get that right? I think that goes down, doesn't it? It goes down, not up. So I've got a suggestion. Why don't you spend one drawing figuring it out or one to 10 drawings figuring it out? And then after you've figured it out, I'm gonna suggest you just go over to the side and see how beautiful you can execute it So that center line, I can just put the shadow of the nose on there. She does have this long neck, so her shoulders are a little further down. You make those full. And so this is fully descriptive. So do you see even in my note taking, this is more descriptive than it is poetic. So what I'm saying here is the learning doesn't stop once we figure out how to represent this stuff. And I messed this up, didn't I? Look at that. Look at that. So that took all that away because we should have been like that. But the purpose is, is first learn how to describe. And then how can we make that description more poetic? And not so quote unquote literal. It's this poetic vision that everybody's looking for but they don't think about till they're ready to finish. And if you remember, in order to finish anything, you have to have it completed before you start. So if you wanna finish poetic, then we need to start a little more poetic. So how can you make your marks 
even in your sketches and your studies, how can you make them more alive? Can we make that back mark less? And make some of these middle, these closer ones more? Okay. So again, notice, and granted, I'm, this isn't the best in the world. But notice the different weight of the lines, right? And you can also use the weight of the line. Does a pinch feel different than a stretch? How could, how, how can you say that? How can you say that? Okay, I'm going a little deep this morning. I'm sorry, guys. It's my nature. It's what I do. But sometimes after people do a few of these, they go, okay, what's next? No, 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 no. It's not, there's nothing next. It's just, it's up to you to do it better. To do it better. All right, Miss Spencer's up next. Miss Spencer. So why don't we take, uh, I'll take my own advice. Let's study this and then let's do it. So we got the center of the chin. Do we have a tilt on there? I don't think so. I think she's pretty straight there, right? Most of this action's turning um, in the twist of the shoulders. Uh, sh she's just about straight on too. So since this closer to the shoulder this way, let's go around. Go around, let's go up around the back. Come back around, where's the pit of the neck? That pit of the neck's just about right below the center of the face. And which way is her shoulders turning? Right, her chest is facing this way, right? So the, the rib cage would be like this. There's the bottom of the pit of the neck. The top of the back of the neck is going to be over there. It's kind of it's a three quarter view. So we can give the viewer all of that information with a little kick at the end of our at the end of the road there. Then let's come over here, and then if we imagine a cylinder. If we're looking straight on the edge, it looks like that. So if she had her shoulder right towards us, this shape would look like that. And it would be basically directly under the face. But since it's not that drastic, the shape is gonna be a little more elliptical. And then we want to repeat that at probably a smaller, weaker size back behind. And then if we wanted, we could indicate the neck and the shoulder. On the other side, I don't know that I would indicate anything. And then again, just with her cover, we could say all of that. So what did we learn? I haven't quite gotten used to drawing on this digital. But, you know, so just like you, I'm struggling to be a little smoother. But the main idea, first off, that it's descriptive, right? Descriptive, that that information we need is there. Okay, so what's next? What's next? You guys doing okay? Hopefully that's not too much info. 
but we're gonna get moving here we're gonna get moving oh what do we got here what do we got here Izzy I've had her modeling since her very first days since her very first days so it's provided some good father-daughter time and uh, she's been exposed to all kinds of things that uh, some people a lot of people most kids are never exposed to okay so what are we looking at here is this pretty dynamic so let's do a little study here let's start with our let's go up a little bit let's start with our chin and she tilted away just a tit a tiny bit we're going under we're seeing under that chin And there's that jaw. And so then we'll go around the pinch, across the top of the head, to the back of the head. Right, and as you do this, you, you see, th oh man, that jaw was way too wide. So and the whole purpose to, of doing this is to see not necessarily to get a perfect gesture drawing it's to see and understand what's happening so the center of the chins there where's the pit of the neck Is that too far right don't be casual about these marks don't be too casual about where those go where the length is how long is that neck compared to the size of the head which way is her body turning okay let's kick it that way all right, then we've got this shoulder up high and it's not very far from, right? And how are we see, well, look at that shirt up and wrapping up and around, right? The neck of that shirt. Hmm, so that's interesting. Then we've got another sweater coming over. So we're gonna be able to use all of that to tell us what we need to say so she's got that shoulder up high All right, look, she's got that hand out back on the hip the shoulders are going down that hand arm is going down the hand is there Where's the top of the vase in relation to the chin? Drop a plumb line. Do you see? So I can't came back to the chin even as I Do you see the freedom that this gives you? I hope so. I hope so because it this takes a little study and I want to convince you that it's worth keeping up. It's worth keeping up. All right, so head, neck, shoulders. Let's go towards the pinch. Across the top. Through the back. Down to the pit of the neck. Show the angle of the chest. There's that other shoulder. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> Claudia made it. Hey, Claudia. Good morning. There's Cindy. As always, you know it. There's a little some attitude for you. There's some attitude. Izzy's the sweetest little girl. I cannot even stress. She is so sweet. But she's been modeling so long that, man, she can throw that look. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Definitely worth it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Glad you're... Hey, Katie. Hey, Katie. All right. Shall we keep going? Shall we go a little more? I think so. These are a blast. 
These are a blast. Um, where are we doing? Lots of buttons to press here. Lots of buttons. Oops, there she is again. There she is again. <laughs> yeah, me too. You did a good job in that model, Mama. You did a good job in the model. So where's the center of the chin? Where's the center of the chin? Is there a tilt to the head? Well, yeah, she's tilting slight tilt away from us. So that's going to put the bottom of the chin going that direction. Let's go towards the pinch. Towards the pinch. Across the top to the back of the head. Let's go down the back. Find our way back to the pit of the neck. We got the chin here where this other shoulder. Damn, and then drop that shoulder. Give me some attitude. Boom. So where does that attitude come from? I'd like you, if you, again, the more simple you can see it, the better. So the axis of the face is, that may be a little extreme, but it's that direction. And the axis of the shoulder is this direction. Okay? So standing facing, things look like that. And now we got this sassy young lady here doing that. And so what does it do? Well, it gives us a definite pinch and a definite stretch rather than plumbing. Okay? You know, most people don't want to go to the museums to see plumbing. There's a few. There, there are a few, right? Each to each his own. But they will go to see a stretch and a pinch. Okay, should we take a shot at it? Let's go. Where's the middle of the chin? Let's get a slight tilt on there. Let's get a slight tilt. And then I could, you know, show the top of the forehead if I wanted. What Again, we want to be descriptive and efficient. But that doesn't mean we're being careless. Right, remember our angle trick? Check that angle. Where are we going? How steep is this angle? So again, we just want you to be aware and see more. Right, and then All right. Okay, are you guys seeing that? Are you getting this? How are we doing? Okay. Okay, and Amber's back. So all these are a little bit different. And if the pose is a little bit different, it's a completely different drawing or painting, right? So if you're ever in a class and you're done with the pose and it's 15 minutes in and it's a three hour pose, just get up and move your position and you have a completely new pose. So we want the center of the chin. And this time there's a slight tilt this way. So let's get the bottom of the chin. We can go towards the pinch, right up the jaw, towards the pinch. We don't see much of the back. And this time, 
this line is going to come underneath here. The face is actually going to break in front of, right? So the line we're looking for is inside the face. Sometimes less is more. Well, almost always less is more. Yeah, you say that, but you never give us a break. So do you see if you can see it three-dimensionally your lines start to portray that that three dimension right so more than anything this is about your vision right so we could have fabric and cloth and folds come over and describe we could have headbands Talk about going over the side, coming up over the side, across the top of the head, down the side of the head, and around the back. So when I see that red, I'm seeing, oh, I could utilize it to describe this form. Right When I see the shawl that she's wearing, I can use that to describe that form. Right? I don't need to try to copy the eyes exactly. More importantly, I need to get the symmetry, use the symmetry to tell them about what's happening here. Okay. So should we... Tr Make a go at it. We got a slight tilt, middle of chin, slight tilt. We go round through the back, across the top. And then our line's gonna come from underneath the chin. And then what happened on that last one? Last one I got her neck way too thick, didn't I? It's all right. It's all right, oh, there's our timer. There's our timer, right? So we can see all these lines. And notice how I didn't have to put this side of the neck in, right? It's implied. It's implied and, and the viewer will just see it. So, why does she look too medium? Well, because that's too big. Right, so you can even, on this, you can start to adjust the proportions, not because you're measuring, but because you can see. That's not that wide on her. So narrow it. Ooh, that's too thin. Well, then push those, right, because we don't have a lot down right now. Her, her, her head is bigger than that. Okay, well then put the back of the head in there. Right, her neck is smaller than that. Well, can we bring this in? Can we bring that in? And so what it does is it gives you freedom to find, to design and find. Okay, enough of our exercises. How is that for everybody? Did that work out? Let's see, so that'll be that for the exercises this week. We'll see if we'll keep doing that if we're gonna do something different. So, for the start today, we're gonna go Barbara. Uh, we'll look at Claudia. Uh, then I wanna show uh, what Susan did. I, I don't have too much to say other than kudos on that. 
and then Janny's got some um, some sketches like we've done here and then we'll finish uh, with a painting of Katie's niece okay so Barbara 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 you guys look at what Barbara's doing amazing amazing let's see I got some let's see if we can change things up here a little bit see if we can get put things back in their right place there we go and let me get the uh, reference images that I need there we go even better all right yeah all right Barbara you're getting some love you're getting some love excellent I agree I agree I agree so for those of you who don't know <clears throat> Barbara ran into us during the stay-at-home orders she's got kids at home young kids at home that she's been trying to school take care of the house doing everything else and in the middle of all of that boom she's learning art man fantastic Barbara kudos 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 <clears throat> okay so let's look and see what's next so one of the things that I'm really pressing everybody on because it's not natural and when we do look and see the photos or even life it's like we can be um, distracted by the 10,000 things and we want to get back to giving solid strong 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 um, images so for that I'm wondering if you didn't have time to do this and I'm thinking so because as I explained Barbara's got quite a busy schedule she's got quite a busy schedule so and how she can concentrate to do this with young kids running around I don't know there's more than that's just you guys never cease to amaze me so what if we take the background just nothing else right now let's just take this background what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock it down a little bit. And by doing that, it's going to make him more special. Right? Or the part of the paper where he is more special. And we want to make sure that cap wraps around the head so that there's enough room for the head back in there. Okay, because what this is, is this is a four-value compositional study. And the reason we do that is we do it to prep for our paintings. And so what we're trying to do is trying to create or solve this image for a strong graphical impact. Okay, can you see that already? What's going to happen is going to start, oops, we're going to start focusing a little more on him okay um, let's take a little break right here and I want to point one little thing out and this is for everybody so <clears throat> you'll hear me say things a lot but then you get into a situation and you're not sure what to do and we've got to make things, when I say make things look full, right? So if we have form, we want it to do that. And at no point do we want it to kind of go in like that because it's going to look sunken. Unless, unless it's the cup, right? Like this does go in, right? And then inside that there's a form. But... You see this right here? 
I know this is this is a subtle thing, but it's something that will transform y y your work. It'll tr literally transform your work. Okay, so that looks hollowed out. And yeah, I'm being a little persnickety here, but again, this is how we learn. This is how we're going to pick these things up. How I could solve that instead is so the eye is coming out. So let me see. Can I get smaller here? So protrude that and then let that run into the tr cheek and let that cheek be full and then let that run into the nose and let the nose be full. So, you, so basically, even though overall it's going to do that, I'm going to draw it. With the things being full, right? Being full, pushing out, being full, pushing out, being full, pushing out. And yeah, they may have this gesture, but I don't want that mark on there because it takes away the muscle, the tissue, you know, everything that makes us a healthy kid. Okay. And again, I'm being a little persnickety because this is really good, Barbara, but that one little thing right there will make a huge difference, right? And then the eyeball, again, if this cuts back, let the eyeball be full, let that eyelid go over the eye, let that be full, right? So even the cup, we want that fullness and then we can get up to the cap. Okay. I know. Was that too, was that too much? Was that unfair? I'm not trying to be unfair, but you know, my goal is always, I always want you guys getting better and better and better. All right, back to where we were. Where were we? Where were we? We were, we were taking our number three value and we're just gonna knock this background down a little bit. Right? And I'm not gonna take the time to do it right here, but we wanna make sure all this is full, full, full under there. So I, I'm forgetting my terminology, but I think it's, we want it convex and not concave. So I've got those two right. And it's not that you never want, like I said, if you have a cup or like there's a hollowing out of the eye socket, well, then we've got to show that. But if it's not hollowed out, we've got to be careful. Okay, so let's just check that real quick. You see, even that slight thing gives a lot more focus. So very good. And then this might seem a little counterintuitive here, but... I want to show the power, the visual impact, because paintings are made to be seen from afar, right? Paintings aren't mean, most people don't walk up to your wall and stick their nose in your painting. But a line drawing, they do. If they're flipping through the pages, their nose will be right there. So we've got to have this thing carry. And it carries. with the big solid. So let's say our dark, let's start here at the hat. So the hat would even have a dark because, well one, they're stitching, that would come under like that, like that. But this side of the hat, just like that side of the face, is turning away from the light. So let that be dark and then have that little bit of light go through there and then underneath be dark so all shadow all shadow let's just keep at this value right and then what we want to do is at the side of the head at the side of the head make a definite a definite angle change there and very nice how you did this this is walk, so that's a soft edge there. Heart, because the nature of these edges are gonna matter. But great, great, great. Let's get just a little bit going down here. 
Again, this we want to show just like you've done. You did great. Uh, and then the you got to show just a little bit of that shadow on the nose turning away as well. All right, perfect here. And then let's get the little bit of fullness in here. And again, soft edges there. So my edges may be a little clunky, but the point is to show you how to get more power from all the things you've already figured out. Right, so how can we get the biggest return for all those problems that we've solved? Okay, and then that mask going to turn under where it turns under it'll be in shadow so that'll be again a number four so you see and what's happening is the viewers having to figure out less or sort out less values go under okay then the next a little longer but we're good here a little bit longer maybe here. Okay. And that shirt. So get a definite angle on that shirt. Round, down. Let it drop for the shoulder. And the other thing it does is look, is we've got a hard stop there now. Okay, a hard stop, good. Behind the neck. That'll work out to really make him stand out as well. Underneath the collar. And then on this side. And then yeah, other than that one collar, I'd probably throw all of that into shadow. And then if he did have the bead of this shirt, oops, that's a little bit big. All right, I know I'm going a little bit long and on here, but again, I want you guys to see how I'm thinking and solving this, right? So one of the things I want you to, to work on is if it's shadow, make it a certain value. Then his hat's kind of a dark gray and we could make his shirt a dark gray too so we could bring that in light by let's just come up a little bit right we can keep this relatively dark but not have it the color of the shot the value of the shadow and again as we even a little more of this out and I know it's hard because we want to show form and and all of that um, it just takes a little experience to know when to do what. When to do what. Now again, to see, see where we're going, boom. And then if we wanted to, we don't have to, like if the values were this close, probably what I would do to get enough pop is I would make sure that the background was really, really, really gray or low chroma. And then him, I would make a real high chroma, right? Get more color in there or How are we doing, guys? You doing okay? I'm gonna come here. So that looks a little too close to me. You see how I put it right next to the...
Like that's still going to read as a light next to that. And it'll definitely read over here. But the other thing it'll do is it'll make us really go towards his face and his skin. So for our four value compositional study, not only are we seeing what are the shapes and sizes of the four values, but we're also getting a sense of the measure between the values. Like just how dark, you know, what is the gray relationship, the light dark relationship for the big pieces? Again, there may be some changes, light little changes, but at this point, it's more important to get these big shapes and then be careful on that contour. This contour is very important. So the nose go in and okay. So notice, Barbara, I, I did not change much of your drawing at all. What I, what I did was, I evened out some values and I grouped some things, right? So in a way, I, I simplified things a little bit. Okay, so let's do some before and after and see what else we got going here. Okay, so that's the background. And again, it's up to you. It's up to you. Neither one is right or wrong, but it's this one's a little more dramatic and that one's a little more kind of outdoorsy outside. But with the color that you replace on this, that can have a big effect as well. Okay, so again, you see those tones are a little spotty and simplifying simplifying down just really boom and then that lightest place is where we're going okay so what if we just you know even just doing that we're really on him and then once we simplify boom Okay, Barbara, you're doing a fantastic job. I have so much respect for you being able to come as far as you have, as quickly as you have, given our whole situation. So kudos, kudos, kudos. Yeah, Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. Yeah, little J. J, J, J. Good job. All right. Okay, Barbara. So she's here. I hope you got all that love everybody's sending you. I hope you saw all that love. If you didn't, you'll have to go back and watch it because you got a lot of love today. Well earned, too. Well earned. Okay. Well, time doesn't wait, so we should march. Oh, well, Barbara, don't go anywhere. We got another one. So I won't spend as much time on this one. But it's basically, um, I would suggest doing something similar. Right, so I would focus on getting them right there. Right, when we go to color, this is a red hat, so we can keep this relatively dark and it can still have a bunch of power. And then you've got the black glasses against the lightest skin tones, right? And the mask is relatively gray as well. Okay, so just like on that last one, let's try to get all of our attention coming right towards that area, okay? So that's the concept, if you will. And then just like on your last one, what you'll do is if this is your dark, you've done a pretty good job keeping it even, but even the shadow, and I know it's, it doesn't look the same value, but we're gonna group, group this shadow, right, the side of the nose, the dark glasses. And if there's a little light showing, maybe, but uh, 
this section is very important. It's a lot of information there, right? We want to show that this turns under, right? We want to show, even though we can't necessarily see it, we still have to show kind of the cast shadow. And it might meander a little bit because of the cloth, but we still want to get that sense of structure under there. Okay, so think about grouping like that again. And if you're there, and then that background went down, right again with the groupings, we're gonna be we're gonna be right on top of that face. And again, if this is a black or something, the mask in light could still be kind of a dark gray, quite a bit darker than, say, his face there. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go back and work on that. You've got the right idea, the right idea, the right idea. The um, I let's see if we can get that a little more even. I that may be a time thing, it may be a uh, materials thing. I'm not sure, but the idea is to try to even that up. If you got a stump or even your finger with that charcoal, just run it back and forth through that. What we want is get rid of this. What's distracting? Oops. Is this light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, right? That da 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 da. da. We want to try to take that away, right? Because that's going to be a big distraction to our big light dark pattern. And the more we save, you know, those light, dark, light, dark, light, darks for this area, the stronger the painting will be or the drawing. Okay. Again, great job, Barbara. Great, great, great job. So proud of you. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Ooh, you make me feel lazy, Barbara. You make me feel lazy. All right, makes sense. Good. Okay, good. I'm glad. Whoops. What happened to my... What happened to our thing? There we go. Um, Susan says it really helps to see other people's work. Yeah, sometimes you, you can almost learn more from seeing other people's work because you don't have the emotional attachment to it. So it's a little easier to hear. Okay, you're welcome, Barbara. You're welcome. She sees all the love. All right. Good job. Good job. All right, Miss Claudia. Claudia, so this was a um, a sketch club thing. But yeah, she says she wish she could get faster. This is what, 10 or 15 minutes? Man, for 10 or 15 minutes? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, fantastic. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say than of this just keep going, keep going, keep going. When, we're, when you're working fast, you're not gonna be that accurate. But again, what you wanna do is get, get quicker and increase your accuracy. So even though you know the museums might not be buying this, we can clearly see what's going on, right? Not only with him, but I can also start to clearly see value patterns, white, black, tone of the paper, highlight. Those are the things that will actually give us information that we can use. Okay, so um, yeah, nothing but hats off. Hats off, hats off, hats off. Okay, um, again, I hate to say anything because of the time But one thing you'll watch is you want to tr try to watch ending on that. Try to get some, mm, especially right around where we want to be. Like, I don't know if I would get some of those hard angles, say, anywhere down here, right? But I like this because... 
Again, I'm going way too far for 10 minutes, but just to show you what starts making good paintings. Remember that light dark detail I said to take out of the, the hoodie on the last one? We have it there. And now we're gonna have a big rest. Oh, whew, man, that was fun, but I need to sleep it off. And then we've got another little party, but it's different. Right, so instead of just having one thing, we have one, we have a rest, and we have two. So beautiful. Good job, Cl keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You guys are becoming animals. Okay, so this was Susan yesterday, and then last night I got the email asking if this was any better. What do you guys think? Now, Susan's kind of a special case because she hates the feeling of charcoal, <laughs> which makes it difficult to do these charcoal things, but you got it. You got it, you got it, John. Yeah, it really caught his swagger. Good job, Claudia. Yeah, nice, Claudia. Nice, nice. All right. Good, 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 good. Great. You're welcome. You're very welcome. You guys keep working. I'll keep working with you, right? But there's not much I can do without, without you guys putting something forward because it, everything I say is meaningless until you put it on pe paper and wrestle with it. But hopefully I'm saying it in such a way that you can go to the studio and perform these tasks. Yeah, what am I gonna say, man? Bang, boom, if I had champagne, we'd celebrate. I guess that's all I could say on this one. Good job, good, 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 good job. Okay, um, I wanna point something out for everybody. I think that one of the things that's making this good, um, there's a lot of things, but the amount of detail there versus this. You see how different one side is from the other, yet it's still clearly symmetrical. Okay, that really, that really is a big design thing. So great job. All right, Susan's getting the love. Yeah, she's happy about it. Good job. Oh, Claudia, not another one. Oh man, what are we doing here? Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. We're gonna have to get some counseling or something. We'll, we'll have to do something about this charcoal. Get a better relationship with it. Getting a better relationship. I get it. I don't necessarily like that sound either. Okay, so let's look at Janny here in the last couple of minutes we have, and then on a little overtime, a little bonus today, we're gonna look at a look at a painting for probably five or ten minutes, maybe. Man, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, and look, she put the whole the whole thing in there. Great, right? I took these photographs. Oh my gosh, I hate to say how many years ago now, but years ago now, you know, I've revisited and I revisited. And you got the whole thing. The whole thing meaning the big design is basically this. You captured it. Look, you captured Izzy going back, having the attitude. You know, and Naya's a little more docile there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 more, more, more of this, more of this. Again, it, it's, it's not to produce the perfect thing, but it's, you're seeing it's clearer, more. And then as you just move your hand across the paper, if you're seeing it three dimension, the three dimension comes out. It's, it's crazy, but it works. Even here, we can see what's going on. Good, good, good. And one of the things I love about this, I feel the hair on top of, on top of. Okay. I don't know if that's enough of a connection, right? And what, what you'll get to see as you do more and more, 
these lines will look more connected. And that connection, rather than coming from anything physical, whoops, what in the world have I done here? Anything physical comes from more of a, so here we go here and then we've got that. Right, so we've got that and we've got that, right? Represented down here. So even something like that could connect those a little bit. Right, it's a, it's a rhythm. You see how you can make things run and jump over time? The animators use this concept. We, we're using similar notions, similar conceptual tools, right? To make these things sing and dance, okay? Good, good, good job. And we're gonna find more and more rhythms as we do this. Now, now, Again, this is one of my favorites. I know which one this is, and I feel it. I feel it. Right? It has, it, you, there's more of the rhythm and that connectiveness in this one. Again, these are super fast drawings. We don't have much time. Right? So I'm, I'm being a little bit harsh, but I'm not meaning it harshly. I'm just meaning how can it be more poetic? Ooh, you're getting the description good, the description, but we've got to be more than descriptive. We're artists. We have to add that layer of poetry and that rhythm, the balance, focus, all of that's part of the fo poetry. But one of the things I mentioned is the idea of this is that you get the doingness of it. And the doingness isn't like a list. Take the nut from the bag, put it on the bolt, twist the nut. The... No, no, no. You want to know what it's doing without being a technical manual, right? And then if you can tell them what they're doing beautifully, poetically, you got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. All right. Yeah, very nice. Good, good. For the longest time, I really struggle with how to teach because it's so hard to teach any one of these things without all of them. Okay, what's the instruction? Let me bring your awareness. Let me demo it. You need to practice it, you know, to get an understanding. And then seeing the masterworks, right? Just really, for me, ties it all together. Ties it all together. Great job, great job, great job. Super, super, super. Love the feel. So good job, Janny. So all of you guys, you know, don't, don't be afraid to show me some of these things. And if you're going a little wrong or, or you're caught, they keep looking kind of the same over and over, send a few of them in and let's see, oh, what's next? Oh yeah, very descriptive, you got this. But what if we did this? What if we take that out? All right, that's how we learn and grow. What if, what if, what if? All right, everybody, thank you so much. Like I said, that's going to be it for the classwork right now. We're going to take a sidestep a little bit out and look at a painting that um, Katie submitted. All right. Saying a whole lot with so little. Yes, that's the, the efficiency. The efficient, but not only efficient, it has to be beautiful. Beautifully efficient. Okay. This is looking fantastic, Katie. Um, I wanted to make sure that you wanted feedback on this <laughs> because it's so fantastic. You're very welcome. You're very, very welcome, Janny. Very welcome. Thanks for all your hard work. Really do appreciate it. Right? I, so many of us are getting so much better over this time where 
so many things were going in the opposite direction and I just love seeing that. And you know, as a group, we can push each other and go forward. So, you know, it takes a village and you guys are a wonderful, wonderful village. All right, wonderful, Katie, good, good, good. If I remember right, this is Katie's niece. Is that right, Katie? Yeah. Yes, Fiona, okay. <laughs> I like to check because I know I can be a little bit harsh sometimes. I'm not never coming off as harsh, but if if you're sensitive or man, I'm so proud of this. Ooh, it can be hard to take that critique. So what we need to know is where the light is coming from. And this is a situation where it almost looks like it's face lit, like the lights coming in from just right in front of her. And that can be a little bit tough. And even if that's the case, we want to get a little bit of shadow. So the first decision, and if you're there, maybe you can let me know. So it feels like that light's coming st straight on from right in front, you know, almost like that, you know, but I guess be coming up above a little bit. So what I want to do, I think that the thing to do is we need to move the light this way or this way. And it's always best, this isn't coming from me, this is coming directly from Rembrandt. It is always best to have the side closest to you, closest to you into the light. Okay, so for that reason, let's go with the light coming from over here. Okay, poetic. Uh, so I think Sue loves this one. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of good happening here. But yeah, Sue. Ooh. Claudia thought you like to love that. If Cindy catches this, she'll love the hair too. Okay, so she just she only had a photo and it was from straight on. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna twist that just a little bit and now thinking about big forms and simple forms and then making the decision on the light, we can do that. <laughs> so this could be one of, one of Claudia's cousins. I love it. I love it. Okay, so what would that give us? What would that give us? Let's see here. So if I know me, I could easily go off 45 minutes on this. So I'm going to give myself a little run runway here and we'll say 15 minutes 15 minutes may be way too much but we'll see so the first thing i'm going to do is i want to set up some values to work with and let me let's go with what you got here so why don't we say this is a little more the color and then I'm going to, got this on another layer. I'm going to let's put that right up here. Okay. And then that had a little lighter section to it that I thought you did a pretty good job on. I'm going to change these values a little bit. But this is a, a, a bit lighter. Okay, now I just want to make sure. that white is still bright enough. And the only way I can check that, is, and see when I put it on top of that yellow, it almost disappears. Okay, so for that reason, for that reason, I'm gonna go back to this color swatch, or that color pile, and I'm gonna darken it up a bit. I'm going to darken it up to the point that a highlight will jump. We'll jump off of it. So why don't we make it like 85? Okay. And next to that black, that looks dark, but now that white's really going to show up on there. And then we would want our color to be slightly darker and richer than that. 
So we were 85, so let's go to 80. Just a little bit. I want to put it again. Okay, so I think that's going to work out right there. But notice how I... Whoa, that was no good. That was no good. What happened? We lost our perfect color. We lost our perfect color. All right, so let's just go back and do it again. And that's just kind of the way things roll. You're going to lose it a little bit. Or the cat's going to vomit, and you got the perfect color mixed up, and by the time you get back, that color's all dry. So again, is that dark? Yeah, I think that's dark enough. <clears throat> okay, then let's have her turn back to air. But since the background's so dark, I'm going to put my air more the color or the uh, this green here. So let's see if I can find... Something a little darker. I like that blue. I just wanted something a little grayer. There we go. There we go. So let's call that our air. And then let's get some shadow. Let's get some shadow. So for the shadow, what I want to do, let's come back to this warm color here. Maybe we won't make our shadow so dark. Okay, we'll see. We may need some more color in that. We'll see here in a minute. Trying to decide if that's dark enough. Okay, so this is where you just have to try it out. So in my mind, that shadow color is not dark enough. But look, I've got it set next to a black. So just chill out, Jason. Let's see what happens. So let's leave that color layer to itself. Go up, and now let's do a shadow layer. So I'm going to start small instead of big. You should always start big. But the first thing is, if it's coming in from that side and then there's hair, that hair needs to have a shadow to set it on top of the skin. And that eyeball will be turning around into shadow. Shadow underneath there. A little bit of shadow there. That nose will turn to shadow. And as this turns around, you know, most of this is going to fall into shadow, too. And now, of course, you know, this may go a little bit off of her, because I don't know what she's looked like. I, I, I've never seen her, so... I, not that I know, though. I've never seen her. Right, and this is just all based on that on the basic form. Okay. Then See, look how dark that color looks right now, but that's because everything was so high. So we're going to just let that go. So color will be in front, be a little less as it goes back. All right, so I'm thinking of this as kind of top plane. I'm going to put a little bit of that, and then the air will run through it here in a minute. Same there. 
What about the top plane? Let's go ahead and no, I mean I need to soften those edges, so I need to keep that on the same plane. I mean on the same layer. Let's see. So the light is hitting this side. The light is hitting this side. All right, the light is hitting th this side. Okay, and then some of this stuff's going to turn through air. Oops, that seems a little, a little dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on there lighter. Right, so that should all go be turning away. Okay, so let's get some black here. How are we doing on time? Goes by fast. Man, it goes by fast. So let me get some hard edge in there. All right. Weaker on this side. turning away so be in shadow <clears throat> let's see so let's capture those beautiful glowing green eyes Sorry, I'm in creative mode here, so I hope you're watching and can see. I don't understand why there's such a dark shadow on the inside corner of the eye in the light. Is that being thrown down by the brow ridge? Um, are you talking right there? And if you're talking right there, what it is is an overlap. The, the top corner, it doesn't have to be that dark. And I'm going to come back with some red in a minute, but I was trying to do a little drawing. So let's be patient on that one. Motion in her eyes, Katie. Good job. Oh, she had long hair before COVID. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Or maybe it's this one here. And yeah, that's the brow ridge. That, that'll be the brow ridge. Because if it's coming in from up top, then this is tucking under here. So, and we always want it from above and a little bit to the side. Okay, let's see. This says I have three minutes, but I don't want to be rude, but I may just go until I'm done. All right, so I want to cover up that white. That's killing us. Let's get that out of there. Put that hair over the top. Throw that back there. Okay, so now
Nope, I didn't get that right. I didn't get that right. Let's see, how would we do that nose? So it would come up the side, there'd be a highlight on the side, and then from the side, it would turn to color, and then it could turn to air. There we go, that's better. That's better. Okay, so the face, again, if we just throw some, some of that form on there, roughly it can really matter. And then if we did, that blue mask, again, sometimes it's just the solidity. A hard edge will help that. We gotta make sure that this is sh shadowed and then. And. So if we're coming this way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's do form shadow first. So form shadow would be like that. So that would be in shadow. All right, you're gonna get a shadow under here. And then a shadow from, so you might just see a little bit of light here on that neck. Or maybe we could throw the whole thing into shadow, give a little reflected light or something. And again, look at how that helps focus on the eyes. So I think that's a good thing. And then for the purple hair, now I don't know, again, I, I haven't seen her, but if I could, I think even in the light, let's see if I couldn't get a bit darker. You can have some little highlights and stuff, but th the value of that is kind of so high And again, I mean, she looks like a beautiful young lady. So, you know, let's show her face. In my opinion, in my, I mean, if it's about the hair and you want to look at the hair, you definitely can. But the more we kind of play this down, the value, you see, and so now she can still have, you know, beautiful purple hair. <clears throat> One last thing. So if we're purple, what's purple shadow? It's purple and shadow. So don't forget that, right? And then as it turns into shadow, Yeah, just give a cast shadow on there. Go around like that. It may, that may be too. Is that too bright over there? Is that too bright over there? Right. And maybe if you grade it down too, it could work a little bit. But again, I'm being a. I think if it looked more hair like, that might help as well. Give some volume. All right, we got a little funky there at the end. I kind of got in a bit of a hurry, um, but I think that works. And then with this green jacket as well, I would think about kind of making the whole thing a bit darker. 
And since we're going to throw all that neck and shadow, maybe we could even take some of that out. Right? And then let's see. Let's let's remember what we're doing. This is all turning into shadow here. hair's killing me. This hair's, I can't even leave it. I can't. I can't. It's killing me. It's killing me. Beautiful young lady, and you're going to do that to that hair. Oh, don't do that. Okay, okay, okay. Again, it, it's a little choppy and everything, but I, I think you get the point. So let's look at a before and after. Take these off now. Okay, so you, you've got it going to that spot really hard, but now let's do a little more focus, and then once we're there, give them a little more to look at. Okay, and then let's see if we get this back. Other thing we can do. I'm going, I'm going, guys. I'm sorry. You know, I'm an artist for a reason. Because if I had another job, I keep showing up late. Right, and we can gray that off as it goes back there. Even this side. And I'd probably gray it off, actually. Get it closer to where it's going to go. All right, so if we gray that off, kind of background. Gray that off a little back there, too. There we go. There we go. Now she's a superhero. Now she's a superhero. All right, well, does that help out? Does that help out? Let's see what we got up here. Okay. Okay, I answered the question. Okay. Good. You can ask again sometimes if I missed it, Susan. Cool. Thanks, baby. Thanks. Good job, Katie. <laughs> yeah, you can tell when I go into creative mode, huh? Mouth gets shut, the minutes just tick by, the hours tick by. The next, I kept trying to decide on the next chef. Yeah, sometimes what helps out on on like little areas like down here, we don't necessarily want to focus there. So sometimes, just by kind of loosening the edges up a little bit, making it a little more vagueish. Because what we don't want to do is draw attention to that area. You see, and sometimes that'll even look better. Okay? I, I know I've said it before, but there's a beautiful uh, lyrics to a song. It says, <clears throat> all of these, I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it's basically, all these doctors and all these psychics, they're all right and they're all wrong. They're simply trying to sing every they're simply trying to sing every word when they should simply hum along. It's sometimes when we're trying, it, it's hard to think, well, let's just hum through that section. But that's what the viewer wants. I mean, even on her hair here, look as if I as I soften these ends up. Right, on, on both the top and the bottom, just softening the ends of those up. See how much more natural that feels? So sometimes it is about vagueness. But you're doing a great job, Katie. I mean, this is fantastic. I don't know if I would change the one that you've done, personally. I don't know. Because <laughs> it looked pretty good to me. So maybe you want to redo this. I don't know. I don't know. 
All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, Katie. Good job. Great painting again. Maybe just give it to her as her is and keep this as another one. Thank you, guys. Yeah, get them to the eyes. Right? Even, even those... Well, I know there's a girl or two in Izzy's little thing, like to be mysterious, that want to be seen. I had long hair down in front of my face. And if that's the case, it's even more important to show their eyes. Because usually they have very piercing eyes. So yeah, great, great, great. You guys are welcome. All right, this was a long one today. I got carried away. I hope you got some energy to go do the work. Love you guys. Uh, today is what? Thursday. So sketch club tonight. And then in the morning, we have class, uh, two classes, 8.15, and is it 9.30, I think? Anyway, we'll see. All right, everybody, thanks so much. Any questions on anything, feel free to leave a comment or see our website for our online school, for our monthly classes, for all that good stuff. Bye-bye, everybody.